So yeah, anyway, let's continue. Um, I don't want to know. <laughs> I know I haven't been streaming, but I'm sorry. <laughs> let's continue. <coughs> All right. First things first. Let's uh, let's go do some. Oh uh, well, let's talk with Blackthorn first. I want to do hunts. I'm ready to do hunts. Ah oh, gosh, if it does feels weird though. When um, uh, when I want to do the main story quest, but your side quest at the same time. As long as the side quest doesn't, uh, you know, take too much of my time. Interesting. What do I have to eat to grow as tall as you, Mr. Stelts? Amateur twitcher, huh? Oh, wow. Pretty fitting. Pretty fitting. Blackthorn. <clears throat> Can I ask a favor? How would it? It's the mid. <laughs> this is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. Spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Yeah. Hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like mid uh, engineer stuff is actually pretty cool. Krieger's it, it's a lot. It's a lot in death. Oh, you know? I don't know what the I'm hell you want it. this for, but I can make it. Hmm. Won't be easy though. No, it's pretty neat. And I'll need help. Cause I am in the engineering major, so you? it's pretty neat right. to see some engineer stuff. That, trust me, I'm not like middle. I'm not. Could not make new in inventions and texts like that. For myself in general, if I talk, talk about it. Alright, I guess these guys are helping you. Again, she? Typical. Still, <laughs> if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And uh, what is it we need to do exactly? Take a look at this. It's this mm -hmm. plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valcroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Alright. Well, <clears throat> we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand cut in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where. We can get this over with. Oh, we get choose auto and gav? Oh, man. That's pretty cool. Up to you who you tow to the desert. I mean, Gav's good in the fight, but he don't have my winning personality. <laughs> ah, don't listen to him. You'll be in the lowest of low company with either of us. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Gav. Man, yeah, come on, Gav is like. Which one of these I mean, two lucky souls is going with you? <sighs> Auto's good, but I'm gonna pick Gav. I think Gav is always. Gav's the best boy, man. He's the MVP. Auto's nice. He's a good guy. Like taking operations of like, all the information stuff. Uh, we're taking Gav. Gav, you're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches. Of the yeah, I, I just, I just wrapped it, Gav. Gav is just. Gav's a bro. The Velcro, eh? That's down past Dallamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blackthorn's supplier. Take care. You two, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. <laughs> fleece me? I'd like to see him dry. <laughs> In your own time. All right. But first, we got side quests. Sounds like this river we're looking for is south of the Dalamil Inn. I'll hire us a wagon and meet you there. Well, will get us a good price. Is that one you want to worry about? Alright, let's go do some hunts and side quests. Hey, Torgo. I pet Torgo soon, don't worry. I haven't forgot petting. Alright, so let's do some side quests and hunts before we do all these crazy stuff. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like this game, I'm gonna be missing it so much though. Seen troops amassing at every border. Alright, let's go look at these. 
I just need to know where these guys are. I might actually like take photos and stuff. Don't judge me. I wish there's like a button that we could track them, but no. Okay, empty hollow Dalmechia. The Cattery Dalmechia. Dalmechia and this is in the Rosaria the ruins. Okay. I think I know where it is for the Rosaria ruins. I think I know where it is. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, where's... Where's Marta's rest? Okay, so I know where this uh, s hunt unit is already. The reason why I know where it is because uh, it was a huge boss area fight and we haven't been there for like... I think it was set in up. So I know where it is. It's like right over here. It's literally like this one right here. Because it, it was set up already. I, I knew that was going to be like a hunt, but... We just never see the monster. But I doubt, I believe that I will have a lot of problems fighting that guy though. Come on, all the hunts are getting harder, man. It's not easy, man. It's not easy. Let's go. We're level 33, alright. Give me a break. I'm not gonna lie though, I feel like once I beat this game, I'm gonna be... Oh man, the, it's gonna be sad that I won't beat it. It's gonna be a while till I beat it, but I get that feeling every time I play a new game. Every time I play like a game and it's very good, and I beat it and it's like, oh man. I wish I could go back in time and not beat it right away. I don't know. Just, just a, uh, you know, something you know when you play new games. Alright, we're here. Keep running. I need to upgrade my limit break. My limit break needs to be uh higher. I mean three bars not bad, but still I'm losing the option. Alright, I wonder what this hunt is though. It's a Rosaria ruins. This is the Rosaria ruins over here. Ugh, I do not want to fight these guys, man. You, oh wow. Yeah, alright. Uh, I see it. See something in the distance. Aha, it's the iron golem. Oh, uh, we're gonna have fun finding this guy. He's the S hunt unit too, so it's gonna be hard. Alright, let's go. Looks cool though. Atlas, rank S. Okay. Oh. Alright, let's see how good I am with this. Ooh, looks good too. Oh my, oh my god. I thought I blocked it. Right. I got it. Okay, he's hitting hard. Ow! Okay, he's not. This guy's no joke. Yeah, and. Gotta do this. Ooh, okay, this guy is no joke. Pretty. There we go. I do no damage now because I don't have my loadings. Alright, it's fine. Ooh, 
that's a cool weapon. That's a cool uh, ability. Oh! Ow! Oh my gosh, I fucked the, the, the goddamn fire man. What? Hey, gee. Okay, yeah, yeah I, I mean, the S hunts are harder when I think about it. He's not close. Woo. Scary. Oh my gosh, I can't see. What? Yeah, I'm missing. I'm. Mi I feel like I'm missing that damage though. I ain't gonna lie. All right, another one. I forgot to use my string tonic. Scary though. I ain't gonna lie, those abilities are like. Right. Oh, wow. Okay, that's like. Right. Uh, whew, that was a hard boss. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he put me on my ropes. He really got put. I got put all everything all in on him. Oh, that was a lot of guild though. Ooh, we level up too. Jeez, thirty-five. I think we're like ten levels behind him. Nice or calculum. Nice. Oh, oh, that was a rough. All right. Lastly. We are done here. Let's go do some side quests here, then let's go to Dalmechia. Oh, that was a hard hunt. No, I ain't gonna lie. I'm pretty sure there's more harder hunts there, but that guy was actually putting me on my toes, though. Good day to you. Day. Uh, hold on. Let's uh. 
It's, it's, uh... Oh wait, we have something to do here. Favor Earth, uh... I ain't gonna lie. My ability feels weak. But I feel like... I feel like this is a good combo with, uh... Wicked Will already. This is good too, I ain't gonna lie. Alright. They're all good. Yeah, I'm not by ignition anymore, but... I feel like I'm missing Lightning Rod's damage, though. I ain't gonna lie. Lightning Rod damage is too good. Gouge is good, too. <laughs> I don't know about Wind Up, but I will hold on to this. This is still good. They're all good, man. Yeah, I wanna go back to. Uh, I could wait on these. Lightning Rod is just too good, man. I ain't gonna lie. Lightning Rod is just like straight up. It, 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 like. It guarantees my damage should be increased for stagger da uh, stagger damage already, so I'm not too worried about it. Ah, Clive. But I think I can hold off on it. Is exquisite as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Sure. What is Go it? On. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth. Suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Sure, why not? Of course. You may I get the renowns up, man. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales. And make what you will of them. Alright. I will. Alright. Hello. Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. Alright, let me go buy some Better potions real quick. Alright, we should uh I'll pick Torgo later. We need to take more seriously. You haven't much, but you're free to look. Ah, oh, yes. I hope it's to your liking. Ah, oh, yes. I hope it's to your liking. Well, I could buy uh, two of those. Oh, yes. I hope it's to your liking. Man, they cost so much money to hang on. Huh? Always welcome here. Like, I quit both. Oh no, I can't. Oh man, that sucks. I don't need the ring of this stuff here. Oh, man. Only if they give me the AP. Alright. Talk with some peeps. I mean, like, upheaval is nice. But I feel like I, I think wind up is still good. I might have to take out ignition later on. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, that. No, sorry, can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but none of them has seen anything either. All right. Thanks anyway. Okay. Gotta go up. I ain't gonna lie, like this area is always this area reminds me of so much of like 15 in some ways. I don't know which area but it reminds me of some of it. Oh chocobos. Yeah, so far, so far like a lot of the areas are pretty neat though. Excuse me. Quinton mentioned strange figures having been sighted near the village. Have you seen anything? Nah, not me, Gov. I heard the rumors, though. I'm here most days, right next to the gate, and I ain't seen nothing out of the ordinary. Don't worry. Any shady characters try and slip into town this way, and I'll soon come running. Hmm. Sus. Shouting, most likely. All right. Thank you.
Nah, I might. I will. I will switch out my abilities. Um, I'm gonna take out Wicked Wield. I think Gouge is just too good. Gouge is just way too good. Yeah, we're gonna let Lightning Rod. I wanna do this as well. Judgment Ball is hella good. But... Yeah, let's go hold off on it. I think I will do Phoenix Rising. Just trust the process. And they got this for Gauge. Alright, this is the build. I think that that's better. Upheaval is nice, but I think we could do more once we get like more abilities in, up, in, in the air. I'm pretty sure uh, once we get Shiva, Bahama, and Odin, maybe it will expand our combos even more. But, not now. But, but Wicked Will with uh, Upheaval is pretty neat though. It does a lot of stagger damage. There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. I think Gouge is too good. Have you seen anything Along with Lightning Rod, man. No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it. Screeching out from between the trees. Hmm. Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me. And I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Herb Mother. Robert's pass is our best bet then. What do you say, Togo? <laughs> Shall we go and investigate? Man. Torgo's the best dog, man. I haven't seen a dog like Torgo ever since. Alright, I mean there's Fallout 4 with dog meat. There's also dog from Fallout New Vegas, even though he's a super new super uh, super mutant. But I think Torgo is still up there. I mean, there's Renoa's dog as well. I think Tor Torgo is still good. Fuck! He's seen us. Get them before they escape. That's the Black Shield. What are they doing here? Black Shields. Here. Interesting. Uh, it would have been nice to use up evil here. Yeah, I love the air combo so much, dude. Actually, <laughs> actually, do a lot, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I was already dead in the air, but I'll still go down. All right. Wonder what are the black uh, shows are doing? Why were they here? Planning an attack on Lost Wing. Can I take I over it? Quentin. All right. Uh, doesn't the guy who's going against Quentin like doing same stuff like him? I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> I need to try to get back at him. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though. I feel. Uh, I feel like Quentin could do more. Uh, he's being here. Even the guy has a lot of like he's very well known for being someone who worked in the empire. Mm -mm -mm. You drink some water. 
How goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. <laughs> One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. Mm -hmm. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Didn't Clive. Didn't he want over already, Clive? Because I want him dead. <laughs> Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sandbrack. All that I have built here... Yeah, that queen already explained to you. <laughs> I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world. Unless I read the lore from I him. swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered. And he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones. My livelihood. My position. The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. Hmm. So I set about enacting my own. I was right. Tracked down every soul who served him. And slit their throats myself. But the man How do I know? I read the lore and stuff. <laughs> I read some of the lore, Money and power off stream, and off recording. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing. And began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Hmm. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades. And our revenge is already in motion. Hmm. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion, too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. Alright, it's a war out there. War, war never changes. Comrades. It begins. Make ready for war. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't die. He's a cool guy. Alright, uh... Alright. Dalamo it is. I'm not going to change his mind. Of course not. Let's listen on to them. That his lordship's vultures should be found circling the village can mean only one thing. That he means to strike at us before we can strike at him. There is no time to lose. The final stage of our plan must be put into motion. Alright. Alright. Actually, Dalamil in. <laughs> the 
the one place that we all love. Not really, but... <laughs> it's a cool place, though. Oh, they're opening. Nice. Back again, are you? <laughs> Any more trouble and you'll be barred for life. However deep your friend's pockets might be. <laughs> She's still mad over it. Alright, so, uh... I need to look for the hunts. Ah, oh, I forgot to take a... Uh, I forgot to take photos, man. Oh, dang it. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let's go back to the hideaway. I need to take photos of where the... They're all in Dallamil, but... My brain cannot... Think. I forgot to take photos anyway, too, so... Forgive me, forgive me. Hmm. We're seeing troops in my Senate every morning. Alright, let me take photos real quick. Empty hovel, okay. Alright. Alright. Take photos, so don't worry. Now we know where to find them. Even though I don't know where they are. We'll sniff them out. I mean, the Rosarian guy, I knew because that area was way too set up for the boss man. Alright, so empty hovel. Is it this one here? 13, I know. Let me look. Cattery, jaw, the jaw. Okay, the jaw's down here. Oh my gosh, we're gonna explore the whole area. We'll, we'll find them some ways, you know. Oh. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. So much as a leaf. What's the matter? They're not selling fresh uh, bread, that's why. It's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Fresh Loved bread. Though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? Of course. It's not you give me fresh bread. I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. Right, let's go look for these hunts real quick then. Fresh bread. Let's go look for the hunts. It would make a the finest fabric. Hey, Rosina. Right, I'm gonna go look around. Don't, don't find me Let's looking go. for them. Yeah. I don't know where they are. We'll look for them. Ugh, I can't. Oh, Jesus. Let's go this way. I didn't go over here. Alright, Weirdo. That reminds me of near Automata Deserts. <laughs> Here, okay. Just grabbing loot. Alright, so they're not here. Let's check back at this city again. Uh, these are vultures. The one I'm looking for are bugs. Soul stingers. They live in the empty hovel. I don't know, they might be here. 
Yeah, I'm starting to believe that you're not here. Back to the stables, Kyle. Seratina. Ah, uh -huh, I messed it up. I was already dead about showing up. I don't think it's here. Oh, it says the fills of Coralva. Okay. Okay, so they're not here. They're down here. One's in the fields of Korava, the other one's in the jaws. The two are two of the others are in the jaws. Okay. Alright, let's go do side quest. Fresh bread. Oh, he's not saying fresh bread no more. Oh, that's sad. Oh well, all it has plates and pots. Plates and pots. Such a cool area though, I ain't gonna lie, man. Go. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the vultures replaced the uh the bath bombs. Along with the old faithful. This is such a good area though, I ain't gonna lie. This this area that I'm running to is like such a great area though. We'll go over there soon. Now. We gotta go to the fields of Corava. We gotta go to the jaw. It's here somewhere. Gosh, this area reminds me of uh, Western Dandelion. Oh, it's right here. What the heck? Ah, that was quick. Hey there, you down the here. Rest. The Nine of Knives. What a name. My blade yet hungers, and so do I. Come. Ow! Your flesh. Ooh, cool music. Ow! Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Got pretty cool attacks, I ain't gonna lie. You stop dodging me. Thank you, ye. Gotta break that stagger a little bit, man. Still up there. Ah, oh my goodness. Come down, sir. 
Okay. Oh my goodness! Still got combos for days. Oh man, he really got win that way. Ouch! Hey, jeez. Pretty annoying, I ain't gonna lie, because uh, I don't have many counter combos. God damn, that guy was... Oh, that guy was hard. I'm not used to his uh, combos, that's why. Alright, at least we level up. Oh, man. Like I said, all the huns are getting hard. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. Sir. Deserves it. Ugh. Yeah, give me a chance to breathe. <laughs> God damn. Damn. Alright, uh, 1k, huh? Oh, I'm mastered these already? I can save it up. Save it up for later. I think the lightning or the judgment ball is way too good. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? I'm certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. Hmm. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the mother crystal. <laughs> I hated her. But she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. But I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread I mean, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I know the only thing I'm a baker myself. I bake me. back in high school, but still, oh, like, but now she's gone. it's not that hard. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her, how does a shell of a man learn to live again? Starting you. Express yourself. Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang. Maybe you could recapture it somehow. Recapture it? I'm a baker, not a... You know... You might just be right. Yeah, isn't that what baking is? Kind of special or so? I've been. Kind I of. I to get back to the bakery right away. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You've opened my eyes. <laughs> I mean, I am... I ain't wrong. I'm a. I, I used to bake in high school, and I did work for like a baking company, and uh, yeah, it, it's not fun. I had my. I had several times of burns and stuff, but I managed to like you know, not not kill myself. Damn. I don't know, man. I'm. I should not bring up my stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go find uh. Oh, the sickle. Okay, so the guy is near the sickle. Oh, we're, we're done here. But this place reminds me of Western Dandelion from uh, FF14. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, so we gotta go here and here to find a thing. Or Bob. Or the hunts. 
They're getting hard, man. The, the hunts are getting hard and I, I need to get my timing correctly. Because I get punished so hard. I don't. Then we'll do the main start quest afterwards. I'm bad, at least the side quests are doing good though. Hey, hell diver. Oh, it has to be down here. It sounds like a hunt area for sure. You know, I'm pretty glad that we had, uh, we had, uh, what is it, Ambrosia with us. I would hate running. It's not here. It has to be. Okay, yeah, it is here. So it's, it's called a cattery. Come on. Pretty cool area to fight, though. Oh, we got... Oh man, oh look, Red 13, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Red 13, just kidding, reference, don't judge me, it's a queer though, that kill off the uh, offspring, <laughs> freaking Clyde with the jokes man, ow! Oh jeez, I did not mean to do that. Come on Toro, you're, better, you're a better version of them. I mean, yeah, this is rank C uh, hunt. So. Oh my gosh, how many are there? Oh, I missed. Ashley's, uh... Just stay near here. They will, they will come in. This is why I say Rama has like, one of the best ability right there. Alright, here comes a boss. God damn it, Clyde. Alright, it looks pretty cool. It's like a cougar coral mix. Damn. Oh, I thought that was a pretty slow spin. Ow! Okay, he's doing the same move again. There we go. Get down here. Take the stagger real quick. Smack him. Ah! Smack him. Ah, oh my gosh. Good job, Kolo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. 
sit down here. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna get around two again. Oh my! Oh my goodness. Dude. Boing smack! It's over. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Poor doggo. I did nothing wrong, alright? Alright. You may. I did nothing wrong, huh? Who's that fault here, huh? That wasn't too bad. Was it Togo? <laughs> Freaking Clyde, man. He got his jokes, man. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, what's up here? There has to be a chest up here. Yes, I knew it. Oh, meteorite. Okay. Come on. All right, next boss hunt. All right, so now we gotta go to the the. Yeah, go here. It feels a Korava. I'm pronouncing it wrong. For Sorry in advance. Alright. I'm not the best at like, you know, pr uh, pronouncing stuff. And I can prove it. Like, like I said, English is not my sec- English is like my second language, alright? So, yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Get the stuff here real quick. 33 gil, not worth it. But yeah, English is like my second language, alright? So, we a break, right? Well... I could say that like, I was... I kinda grew up talking English more than my, my first language though. I'm not gonna lie. Which, uh, I got really good- I got really good with my second language more than like, speaking English in my first language. I'm not gonna say what my first English is, but maybe one day when I do my face reveal, you guys could assume... Oh my gosh, this area though, man. The fields of Korra. So, the empty hobble is over here. This guy goes straight over here. God damn, this area, dude. Now, this reminds me of a uh, Banalin now. Still. Yeah. <gasps> is that Coral? Oh, let's go. I'm down fight this guy. Straight home now. So yeah. Come here. No mistakes. Come here. Oh, not that, but Oh my gosh. Okay. I broke the stagger so fast on this guy. Wait, I'm level 36. Never mind. I should not fight this guy. Oh, that's a dead. Sorry, dead. Stop. He's already dead, stop! Gee, I, I, I feel bad. You know what? You know what? He deserve it. He deserve it. Deserve it. Alright, this is the last hunt. Ah, oh, say chest. Two goblin coins. We still don't know what goblin coins are. And I'm pretty excited to see what they do. Okay, where's the bugs? Oh, right there. Alright. Well, that's all the hunts. We gotta go back to this town. God, they look ugly shit though. Oh god.
Okay, so I had to approach him from... Oh god. Just stay here, they will... Oh my, okay. That was uh, very good. That was very good on my part, because uh... How about a fist to the face? God damn. Squish that bug. Alright, not bad. Peace at last. Let's go. Peace at last. Alright, let's get this dance, go back to the town. Alright. Not bad. I will say, I will say the hunts, some of the hunts are hard, some of the hunts are annoying. Not annoying, but just like skill issues. I have skill issues, alright, I'm not gonna lie. Fresh, fresh bread? No fresh bread? Aw oh, man. Looks like I play some pots. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He <laughs> damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master. It's ready. Behold oh my the goodness. Drake's Balm. That looks good. A truly unique creation. That looks good. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not. What's the fang without her crater? <laughs> Why? No fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the fang. Well, if it tastes half as unique <laughs> as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I should not say express herself. Not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight with any luck. Oh my god, look at all those bread. Delicacy on my hands. Alright. I don't know how you did it. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know what type of bread I would like to get. Like, there's always like French toast, uh, white bread, sourdough bread. There's a lot, I, mean, I don't know. I usually just I just go like French toast. That's good. Now, Dusan, I know you're king, but do you have to use the good salt? <laughs> Leave some. Yes, they're quite salt. My carpets have fried away. Oh gosh. Hold on. Hey, that was weird. Hold on, sorry. Mess I got a mess of like stuff. God, what is happening, dude? Yep, this is why I hate it. Hold on, give me a break, chat. Alright, there we go. It's always like the tech stuff that I was like, you do it. Besides, this is uh, always something I was like, you do it. Alright, give me a break, right? 
Master Lubor says Drake's fang has fallen. Does that mean the furnace is going to stop working? Maybe. So shut your tr And what lawlessness is afoot today? That was your doing, was it not? Rumors of the fiend's destruction have already reached the long areas of the desert here and they will soon be on the lips of every man, woman, and child in the island. Though I, though I doubt they will receive the news quite so cheerfully as I did, this town will much as prosperity and protection to the fang, and many will feel that now that left us too much as for me, to stay. I know it's like to live out crystals by whiff, it was not an easy life, but I survived it. And Dalabelle has plenty of blessings even without the butter crystals. It's healing waters is proud people. What need we have for magic? It is but for a convenient a crutch. If the people need a new crush to lean on, perhaps they ought to look to another. Yeah, so literally what... If you still don't understand the premise of the story is that we're gonna store the crystals and... That's gonna be, like, magic's gonna be gone. That's literally how magic is created. So that's what Cloud and him are planning to do, cause, uh, you know... Looks they like wanna have river. a world where, uh... Magic does not- well, like, birds and people could live together. Not just that, but, like, people could die on their own terms. Pretty interesting, right? Hey, Gav. Let's go, Gav. Straight home now. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here is our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Jeez. I don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if Stardust is what Blackthorn wants, Stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just Isn't Stardust that costs a hell of money though? In air games? Then let's get bagging, shall we? Doesn't cost like 4,500 gil or something like that? Or 50k? 50k gil, man? Come on. Bet you 100 gil, I'll find more. Of course. Of course. Please, I don't want to fight scorpions here. Hold on, uh, I'm gonna switch out the abilities real quick, so... I usually put the counters with Garuda because Garuda has a lot more uh, access accessibility. If you think so about this it. Is Stardust. It just looks like black sand to me. But Stardust costs a lot of money, though. Come on, man. I don't know. I do know that Stardust costs a lot of money in other Final Fantasy franchises though. One more. Where could it be? Please be over here. No? Okay, it's down here somewhere then. My eyes are deceiving me. Oh, never mind. Sir. <laughs> I must be getting old. Not that really. Be enough for now. Let's see how All right. On. I put on my glasses. I do wear glasses, but I don't tend to wear them as much. Maybe one day you'll see me wearing glasses or not. Maybe. See that person over there. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Yeah, we got five. Oh, <laughs> you win. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Here, uh, before we go. Do you mind if we have a chat? Of course, Cal, is it? Anything for you. <laughs> Got his view. Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? 
Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain? Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. <laughs> you can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. <laughs> I know I can count on you, Gav. Yeah. Likewise. Such a bros. So you keep sending me wherever you need to. Oh, man. And I'll keep going. Ah. Uh, man, the, the dialogues, man. See if in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. God damn it. Thanks to you. Mm. Now kiss. <laughs> yeah. I'm used to that scene. That's that was kinda nice chatting. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. <laughs> We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. True, true. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Okay. Ready to go home, boy? No. Oh. Ah. Well, let me pet the doggo. When did you get so big? <laughs> a good boy. All right, get out of here. Uh, I'm done being here. Let's go back home. I think I lied. Like. Aside from having Torgo, like, if the game do does come out with DLCs and stuff, I wonder if we could play other characters now. I said this is all Blackthorn needs. Like Jill, Sid or so, or Baruda, uh, Benedicta and stuff. Alright, let me go buy some potions. Well, don't just stand there gawping. It'd better all be here. Uh... Hey, Goose. Too. All right, Clive. I gave all that stardust to Blackthorn just like I promised. <laughs> I got everything Blackthorn asked for. How'd it go? <laughs> Good. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tud all the time. <laughs> I'll make a start on putting this firm old plating together then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. <laughs> Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Whew. That wasn't so bad. Just gotta do some like off hunts and uh, side quests, you know? Wait, these are just useful gill? Oh my gosh. Oh, I must be dumb. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shot if you need anything. Of course, C2. God dang, I thought goblin coins are something unique, but they were just there for selling for gill. <sighs> Sad. Wait, I don't care. Crafting ain't new. What do you need? What do you want? Yeah, let's go back to mid. I went up to give some greens to the top. <laughs> I was reading a dialogue, I was like, it bit you. Mid hasn't been editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. I'm mid. Better get ready to go. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorns started work on the plating. 
Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Hmm. Salvage from the ruins. I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. <laughs> What's her name? Right. What's her name? Huh? Is that actually what's her name? Oh no. <laughs> Elena. Oh, Sid. Is this about the helm? Yes. Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. I mean, isn't the fallen like a super advanced like civilization back then? Making them the perfect material for like, our they're like an alien race. If sea if or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to. You can stop there. <laughs> I understand. I enjoyed her passion so about generating the. Of a fallen ruin. That's a little bit too much sometimes Where for me. Find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass near Lost Wing. Ugh. The thing is. I was just there. I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain. Unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. Of course. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's um going to be considerably more dangerous than that. Gotcha, gotcha. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. All right, two out of three, or one out of three right now. So two more quests for uh, mid. Think mid might need some help. All right, uh, let me go talk with the girl uh, Desiree. Sometimes people call her Des Desire, but it's better called her Desiree. you today Clive. Your benefactors are a generous lot. You earned this. That's a lot better. Here you are. Oh man we're so far away. Best of luck out there Sid. Thank you Desiree. All right back to the last wing. Taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. Oh man, they're ready for war, man. I don't wanna. It's gonna all go downhill, man. I can't change your mind. If you're ready, we leave at once. Children, the reckoning is all right. We keep on keeping on. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I have not seen Jill for so long, even though she said she was gonna join me. But I think the next main story quest, she will join us. I mean, after all, she is like. I guess, I guess like Clive and Joe has like one of the great relationship ever, like for me to see. 
They haven't kissed yet though, so... I'm waiting for them to kiss, but they have not kissed yet. If you're wondering why I put Titan's uh, counter ability with Garuda's, because Garuda is good with uh, Titan's abilities. Not just that, but there's also like a. Uh, I have two counters in some places that I could use. Oh my gosh, you. Uh. There you go. Alright, you guys are fine. There you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Jeez. The pieces we need are in the ruins. Sorry. Just over there. Now where's this terrifying monster? Is that a Minotaur? A Wyvern? Oh no, it seems like a big monster. Oh, it's an Iron Man. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. A wanted visitor. Doom. Oh gosh. Ow! I keep forgetting that I have a lunge ability. Ow. How did I not hit me? Ow! Okay, I'm playing terrible right now. Quick a stagger, please. Oh no, I, uh, I did too fast. Still there 40k though. Wayne smack. It's over. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alright, my bad. The things I do for you, mid. <laughs> Sid. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Of course. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideout. Of course, Helena. Alright. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. I wonder how do people pronounce Helena. Am I Helena or Helena? Helena or Helena? <laughs> Ooh, increased strength tonic duration by 10 seconds. It's actually not bad. Even though I don't use strength tonic, I just use high potions and potions. Alright. Time to get going. I mean that was that was a quicker quest. I mean I think Miz making sword quests are like quicker now. I don't know. I felt like I'm still in the beginning of the game, man. I'm not gonna lie. Hey dear. Seen troops amassing at every corner. Hmm. Right, see what let's see what the third one is, mid. Big mid might need some help 
Fresh bread, plates and pots. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, they not stuck in my mind now. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Yep. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop. But those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I got I need light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Anium or Mithril? Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Yep. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. <laughs> I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Of course. Sure, Tomes would it my mean. Right away. Tom's such a good character. Especially with the lore. I'm not gonna say it. I am not gonna say it. Every time I pass by NPCs, they, they will start a line, and it always reminds me of the other the, the other lines. Oh gosh, I'm running to the wall. Hey, Tomes. Harpocrates. Harpocrates. Do you have the moment? For you, Clive? Always. Huh? Well, actually, nice. it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril? Engine? Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. Mm -hmm. And yet... We have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. Ah. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious oh, uh, oh. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. Good. I don't want to talk with them. So <laughs> to the <laughs> yeah, I just go get the items. I don't want to I talk with them. I discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. Of course. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too.
He's true. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. No, I'm not sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom. We're taking Jill. Capable hand life. <laughs> we're taking Jill. Power Jail is cool and all, but we're taking Jill, man. Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. We could have done with some of that on Drustinus. So, Clive. We're taking Jill. Decision. Gotta take the wife. We'll accompany you on your little excursion. Very well. So then. I wonder what done. if you choose if you choose Tarja over Jill, what would happen? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Tarja is cool. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very <laughs> edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. <laughs> now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Ah, yeah. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. <laughs> you too, Talia. Wonder what we're having though. Choose Tarja. Tarja. Good luck in Northreach. Try not to get too distracted from the task at hand. <laughs> I mean, there is a lot in Northreach. I ain't gonna lie. All right, let's keep going. I'm not gonna lie though, like, oh, where's Jill? I'm just ready to know when we are gonna see Joshua and other stuff, you know. Fresh bread. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? Nuts. How about you look for the pepio nuts? Yep. And nuts. some garlic. Nuts and garlic. I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Up. You'll not find a bruised pippin in the... Fresh cuts. Come. Okay, now there's fresh cuts, fresh breads, plates, and pots. Okay, goddamn. What can I interest you in today? Ah, oh, that's quick. I hope it's to your liking. Fresh cuts, fresh bread, plates, and pots. How the hell is anyone supposed to? Oi, don't touch anything. And okay, that's way too quick. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Did you find everything? I did. Here. Yeah. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Of course. Ooh, scare moment you get a... <laughs> Still got her stuff there. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Mm-hmm. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Aww. 
Do you remember? Walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells. <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. <laughs> remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? <laughs> Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Fresh bread! <laughs> oh gosh, why? Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just... Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. It's just... Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Alive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. No. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. And Ugh. we can live on our own terms. Ah. These two, man. I hope so. Just kiss. Thank you, Clive. <laughs> Just kiss already, jeez. Just kiss, goddamn. I mean, it's not the perfect cutscene for it right now, but yeah, De definitely deserve. Well, I suppose we better be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Hippocrates and Taya. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. All right. So far, all the all the quests here has been pretty good. Side quests, or main story quests here. <laughs> I'm assuming that they're side quests because I've been doing so much like fetch quests for side quests that like it, it kind of just seems like a side quest instead of main story quest. So yeah, give me a break, all right. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. See Tarja and uh Welcome back. I hope you two had fun while I was busy <laughs> helping Harpocrates. How's work on the shielding progressing, Harpocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Tarja how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. <laughs> Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, could you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being Aww. with you. Ugh, these two lovers. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man <laughs> of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Of course, we got it. Thank you, Hippocrates. Uh, is it time she sees uh, Sid? Is it time she sees Sid? Wow, that's a lot of uh, EXP, I ain't gonna lie. 
or AP. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. Alright, keep on going. Was done, sorry. Alright, mid. Sorry to keep you waiting, mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. <laughs> I'm just the errand boy. Right then, better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! Alright, I'm ready to see that new ship though. Pretty excited. You know, when I go into the smithing game, <laughs> I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal <laughs> bleeding didgeridoo -dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. <laughs> Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> <laughs> Some time later. Nope, we got halfway done. It's pretty insane how like she could think about all this stuff and create something new with it. Yeah, that's engineering for you, man. It's finished. It's finally finished. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. <laughs> Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more <laughs> to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines <laughs> and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. Oh no. You don't mean. Blackthorn is like. <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Blackthorn is like shaking his head. To them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourself, eh? Hey? Nice. Back at Canver, huh? Alright, here I go see your dad, mid. What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Lies. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, mm. we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want it to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. <laughs> I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? 
All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Uh -huh. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. Mm. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were going to visit his grave, weren't you? Of course. I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> the Enterprise, huh? Such a name. For the ship. Nick told me she was... No! No, I don't want more side quests. God damn it. More side quests. Alright, we'll do this real quick, don't worry. I just saw it in the in the clips of my eyes, man. Ah, no. <laughs> I do. I mean, the one with the plus are very good. But God damn. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I was, ugh, I was thumbing down through the heart. Okay, maybe in but okay, okay. Jeez. Trouble with the ledges. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? Oh, uh, why? Why? There's so much side quests. Jeez, I just got back from doing them side quests, man. Okay, bad feeling. Well, I accept the in ride with the hound of yours. When, pre when it pleases your lordship, come pay me a visit at the top. What could be wrong with Togo? You seen well enough when I last saw him. Mm. Alright. Alright, cheers for your help dragging Blackthorn out of his dumps for the other day. Thing is, I reckon he's gone through himself back in, judging by the jokes as Joel's lately. So I'm thinking maybe it was the letter that was on smile. Maybe there's other demons jabbing their picture for into his privates. I know you're a busy bloke, but next time you find yourself free, maybe we could go ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered. Assuming it isn't just a forge. Okay. August. Hopefully it's nothing. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Oh, more? Oh, okay. I mean, that's 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 something good. It allows me for new um new stuff. All right, let's talk with uh. I'm gonna do all. I'm gonna do all the side quests as much as I can. All right, I'm not gonna lie. All right, what do you have for me, Carol? I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torgo? So you can read. <laughs> Congratulations. Jeez. But I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some that weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on somewhere else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder not. than usual. He's been a good boy. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? What was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things have been different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Perhaps. Alright, time we have Hippocrates. Hey, Tomes. Lawsman, I need to ask you about Torgor. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. This is a Torgor side mission, right? I'm doing it for the dog. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I rather think she might be right, though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within. And I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. A 
Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgul, but a surfeit of it. If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain, it may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals, whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. Mm. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Even so, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. Anything for the doggo, alright? Trust me. Alright, let's go talk with Blackthorn. And we'll go pick up this side quest over here, and then we'll go down here, and then we'll go do uh, your quests. Hey, Blackthorn. Blackthorn, do you have a moment? Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you, and you might still be doubting your craft. Even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just... well... Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. Something new again. And that was? A sword. An odd looking thing with a single edge blade. Mm. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. Katana. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. Talking about Katana. So that's what's troubling you. Nah, 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 nah. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. <laughs> You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. Is it the Genji blade? KG Blade was like literally like one of the best weapons for limb breaking the damage. You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? Out with it. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single edged and extremely sharp. Katana. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? I suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> if you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignac's the man you want. Del Mechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. <laughs> And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favorite clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dalamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh, Back to Dalamil Inn. And he's a touch eccentric. If you take my meaning. I appreciate the warning. I mean, don't I have like a one-edge blade right here? Alright, let's go pick up this up. What's... I went up to give some greens to the chocobo. He's all, uh, he's all the way down there. 
upstairs. Just the man to help me out of a bit of bother, if you've a mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit, it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why... I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. Why not? Why not? I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. Alright. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. Mm. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get older some. And do you know what I found now? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? Oh. I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> If you would have mind, I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Oh no, more hunts. Myself, uh, oh no. Fighting dirty great balls of flame in exactly my forte. More hunts. You, on the other hand. Alright. I'll see what I can do. More hunts. Thank you kindly. Fresh bread, and fresh cuts, base eh? in pots, more hunts. What else is there for me to do? Don't worry, I'm not complaining. I'm just, I'm just saying, just saying that at least, uh, at least it's, it's making me, it's letting me know that there's more quests for me to do. Think mid might need some help. All right, let's talk with Gops. And then we need to take some pictures of the hunt spore. Not bad. All in time for the good stuff, you know. That's why I'm here. Ooh, sing out. What hope we be listening? <sighs> Is this better? <laughs> A little. Listen. I've some bad news. It turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders. And it may be my fault. But I swear to the goddess. I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned <laughs> out to be more of a circle. Zero, you might say. I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time. And I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I'd say. <laughs> there you are. What a surprise. So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, <laughs> you get Clive to come to you. And I hope he'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning <laughs> plan. Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. <laughs> and the dame. And, well, Lady Karen, <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends Jeez. five million each. Five million each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see. And, well, uh, I must have made some sort of oversight. Those ledgers were my responsibility, and it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No. 
<laughs> we done. And no, yeah. we won't. We've lightened Lord Rosfield's purse enough. After the king's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're going to make this work. All right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How'd you fancy taking these to Martha and the Dame? Rocks. Rocks, he said. <laughs> Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. Yeah. A little Big something gem. Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. Drugs. I reckon 15 million in <laughs> overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. Hmm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe, <laughs> and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because you'd rather <laughs> Lady Karen killed me. Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. <laughs> Well, I got Desiree smiling. I this is goodbye then. Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. For sure. Really? Do you think so? Of course. No, I don't. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh! Look at the look at the board. Look at the board. Tell me we have more. Uh... Are you on the hunt for the bomb king, Koopo? If so, I have a billet that might be interesting to you. Oh, okay. Curse Baker aiming for the Imperial Chase took a wrong turn to a nearby woven that discovered the following airship. Within them, beast of Kenji, okay? The Grace, uh, the Croc Sambrek. Okay, Sambrek. Alright, let's go to Sambrek real quick. I'm just gonna look. It's like the the crook or the crook? Crock. Maybe I read it wrong. What? Oh no, it's down here. Oh, oh no. It's near the Imperial Chase. It has to be. God damn, this area is always like... Rough and fresh in here. Alright, let's go! Fresh bread, fresh cuts, bites and pots. Our quest. Yeah, okay, I knew it, it was this way. I'm sure there's like uh there, there has to be some uh loot over here real quick. Let me go over here real quick. Has to be a chest here. I can walk from here. Act bud. Valley matter. Pretty interesting area. I think this is like a boss fight or like a hunt area. It, it seems like a hunt area though, because uh, I got off the uh, chocolate. Let's go. So it has to be like a hunt. Alright, 
There's the bonky. Thanks, girl. Oh, great. That's pretty cool. The bomb king. Pink. Hey. Has no stagger bar, so Ow. Okay, the AoE is just too good. <laughs> oh god. Music's popping off. I ain't gonna lie. Ow. Wink smack. Alright. Ugh. Oh, that was a somewhat decent fight. Alright. Stacking up. We're gonna be making a, uh... Ugh, I can't get lightning, uh... Your reign is over. Now to collect me. Can't make, uh... Like stuff. Can't do a Ramu's ability because of, uh... Get the realm with the ultimate booty because I actually master it nor she use it, so I'm not gonna yeah get, get it. Do it. Right, and then let's go talk with the dame up here. So let's just up, uh up, oh, I should save as well. So let's get limit break up. There we go. Nice. nice. We're done with our limit break, so I don't actually deal with it no more. Citizens are free to come and go as they please. Did you hear the gates to heaven? I want to see you. What am I gonna do without sweet water and oil of talc? Isabel. My lady. I come bearing gifts. The day. Gifts? Whatever is the occasion. Oh my. <laughs> Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you. To settle the hideaway's debt with the veil. And to compensate you for the time it took us to do so. <sighs> You disappoint me, Clive. <laughs> I thought you might finally be warming to me. <laughs> Ash. Tell Otto he can keep his baubles. I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing, nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and willingly. It was the least I could do. You once told me Sid did you a kindness. I'd like to do the same. Please, 
Accept it. For my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. Mm. <sighs> it is rather fetching, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> Otto is lucky to have you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. Oh, wow. Sad. But you and the others at the hideaway are the closest thing he has to family. Huh? Otto had a son. Long ago. Yes. Sid told me Otto lost him when he was just a boy and blamed himself for not being able to stop it. I don't know how it happened. Whether there was anything he could have done. But it was clear that it weighed heavily on him. No. I didn't know. We're bad for Otto now. How could you have? I doubt anyone did. Besides Sid, I've never met a man more keen to bear his sorrows in stoic silence. An ill habit, given that both have always been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. Mm. <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. Give my regards to Otto. Ah. Tell him I do so miss his visits. Alright, we're done. Alright, next up, Rosaria. Arthur's Rest. And for Doggo. We weren't expecting you. I wasn't expecting to be here. <laughs> but it seems we still owe you a considerable amount of coin for your help with our rebuilding efforts. And though I doubt it's what you were expecting, we were hoping you'd take this as payment. A star, Ruby? I can't accept this. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. <laughs> Think of the difference as interest. Interest? If word got out I charged that much, no one would ever borrow from me again. Anyway, why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending the Lord Marquis <laughs> to sell your debts, isn't it? The old goat working himself to death again. Something like that. Most days, I think he's the only reason the hideaway still stands. True. That auto Same we were having gone. Eh? Back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander, word is he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head, the idea would never get off the ground. <laughs> Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's yeah. always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. The Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. But it must have hit Otto hardest of all. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated you as uh -huh. Sid's replacement. And rallied the rest around you. I reckon what he saw in Sid, he saw in you too. So Sid also Don't saw in Clive too. Doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as handsome <laughs> either. Jeez. That, and you keep good company. That's quite a burn there. I suppose I do. But we'll want to know the stones were delivered. I mean, I mean yeah, Clive is, Clive is handsome though, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, let's go do this quest. Clive is handsome, but, you know. I don't know, I think all the characters are hot in this game, man. So far, so far, right? Oh, nice, we have four... Four limit break now, far. It's actually like pretty good. Good girl. Run like the wind. Cause, uh... Cause, uh, the limit break goes by so fast that, like, we also need it just for the healing. Like, it's kinda neat. Kill these big antelopes. No 
mistakes. Listen, be quiet. If I were giant antelope, it would seem like just the place. I mean, I do feel. I mean, now we know a little bit more about our autos, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, cyclists and stuff. Yeah, we'll find one bigger than that. You hungry, Togo? They're not that tanky, I thought that they were uh Here's air combo in there. And he's dead. I was gonna air combo, but I was like, nah, sorry, on the ground. Let's kill it. But the height. No. Will it be enough, I wonder? <laughs> Get that big bone. Good boy. I say that answers my question. Which means we are the lawsmen, our thanks. You're just a big puppy, aren't you? <laughs> a very big puppy. <laughs> you do know you can take that with you, Toggle. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you got your appetite back. Come on, boy. Let the doggo. <laughs> Aww. All right, uh, let's go back to Dallas Mill. Okay, doing all the side quests. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. Drake's fang is gone. The whole mother crystal gone. We Welcome. If you're hoping for a bed, I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. Hey. One of our wealthy patrons has purchased the use of every room I've been to. Oh. My reputation will be ruined. Ruined. Calm yourself, Lord Ignac. I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable mm. amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. 
Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not, no. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. <laughs> oh. The bandit's bed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamon is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell. And best of luck. Turn to the highway. Return to the highway. <laughs> well, let's go to the, the bed. The bandit's bed. Come on. Run like the wind. Back to the desert. I think I'm lying. So the side quests are pretty good though. Like we know more about auto. We do know a little bit about uh, Torgo now. Okay. I think that's about it. And a little bit about Blackthorn. I don't know if this is quicker or slower. up real quick it's pretty neat that the potions they just respawn and then you just go pick it up they're just bees so convenient that maker They're on their over level here. So there's a lot, yeah. Uh, that limit break is actually pretty useful. Jeez, I got to learn nothing. <laughs> this must be Ignax's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Dalamel. I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. Of course. What shall I call you, my good man? Bye. Wyvern. Oh. Glad to make your acquaintance. Wyvern works here. A formidable name indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my <laughs> hands on that sword. 
It was made in the outer isles, far beyond the twin. It's, pretty, it's at the east, right? And is used exclusively it's a by the traditionals of a unique school. Yeah, this katana and samurai. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. Very true. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. <laughs> Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. 10,000 licks with the sharpening stone, then 10,000 more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered, take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself. Hmm. And a far more fitting payment. Thank you, Lord Ignat. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. So it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. Are there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, <laughs> but only one do I consider my <laughs> nemesis. Lord Byron. I know it. And is a Perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> it's too rich. Well, well, Wyvern, Uncle's too rich. Again. Redeem, we mustn't dawdle. It's funny that he doesn't know that Clive is uh, also the nephew of Royal Baron Rasser. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. <laughs> Thank you again for your assistance. Problem, Redeem. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, come on, man. Uncle, Uncle Byron is hella rich. For sure, he's been collecting Uncle stuff. Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. <laughs> now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Thunder. Okay, let's see what the item is. Lava rock quarry in the summer continues with some parallel harness makes it a perfect shopping blade forged from all manners of metal from bronze to adamant clay. Okay. Back to the hideout, wow. Can't believe we did all the side quests like, in that short term. Let's go talk with Gold. Told me she was building a ship. <laughs> Goat. Still alive, I see. So Lady Karen accepted the ruby. Ah, oh, about that. Uh, I tried my best, but she was just too stubborn to take it. <laughs> she threw it right back in my face, in fact, and told me I could stick my stupid stone where <laughs> the sun don't shine. Karen refused payment. I hope it wasn't something I said. I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. Let me see what I can do. Oh, wonderful. I hope you have better luck than I did. Alright. Gotta trust that you're old Clive here. Isn't it? I can't wait to see how the rest of the vessel looks. Of course, Joe.
Lady Karen. Goad tells me you weren't happy with our offer. But you prefer the debt was repaid in coin. What debt? I don't recall lending any of you lot me hard-earned gill. I may have tossed a talent or two in the Hardaway's coffers. But those were donations. And you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for it back. Of course not. But one good turn deserves another. And our circumstances have changed. Surely you wouldn't shun the gratitude of a pauper who happened to have become a prince. Oh, so you're a prince now, are you? Fine. But I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed, then you're getting the rest whether you like it or not. Alright, take it. Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the belt of Sid the Outlaw himself and ask twice as much. Might be I already have a buyer in mind. <laughs> might be you even know her. The fine continental maid whose beauty is only eclipsed by a guile in commerce. You wouldn't mind, would you? Not at all. Just be sure to tell her that it's always a pleasure doing business. <laughs> Man. I hear you ended up delivering all three stunts. Thanks to this lump. I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I, uh... I, I, I still haven't been paid last month's wages oh <laughs> so you remember what's owed to you then get your ass beyond that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledges are square <laughs> right away <laughs> i've seen that before you yeah, have yeah plenty of times it was the only goblet sid ever used either out of habit all because the filthy soul couldn't be bothered to find a clean mm. one. I knew so little about him. Like most people. Martha and the dame both seem to have fond memories of him. <laughs> I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died? Mm. Twenty summers, give or take. Back in the day. I was a purser on a trade ship, which is where I met him. He bought passage to... I oh, forget where. And having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. <laughs> Quit my post not long after that. On account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close. Promising we'd one day sail on the seas again. That was before fate stepped in and said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first name day, and there was no hiding his neck. Couldn't you and your family have? My family were the ones who summoned the constable. Wow. Wanted the monster taken away. Jeez. I couldn't turn my back on him. Forget what I felt. And I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily, Sid was of the same mind as me. It was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me when I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could stop it from happening again and he was true to his word too left the royal army once and for all his ranks his ribbons gone just like that threw away everything he had all to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face i knew then i'd follow that man to the ends of the earth that's very neat Ah, yes. Cutscene. <laughs> he was always.
always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. I mean, here's Ramu. And it can't have been easy, bearing that burden alone. But he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us <laughs> faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. Take it down to the highway. I myself, but I'd always be right behind him. Ready to catch the stubborn sod. If ever he should fall. But I couldn't even do that. Ignore me. Just the ramblings of a tired old man. Of course not. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. Letter. Watch. This. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto, I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know nah. this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you grumpy old sod. God damn it, that's my man. Big what a side quest, man. This note. Hmm? What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. True. He was their backbone. <laughs> you should have bloody well said so then. No. Just once. Before he went. <laughs> but then, why would he? Him, or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. Would you rather go at the helm? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. Nah, that changed the changed the new I'm generations. I'm to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go, Sid would have wanted you to have this. Ah, uh -huh. but that's memories. This will do me just fine. More memory stuff for the wall. No. Ah. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. Uh -huh. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. Yeah, what a, what a game, man. What a side quest, even though I didn't want to do the side quest. There's still four side quests for me to do, alright? Alright, let's finish all these side quests and I think, uh... Ugh. It's a good place for us to stop on, huh? Alright, carry on. I noticed you and Toga had gone off somewhere. Took him for a walk, did ya? You could say that.
So, Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? Well, teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. All right, all right, no need to shout. Now <laughs> I know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? You can, I. I'm nice like that. In return, you can thank Tomes for me. The <laughs> didn't know it all. I was just on my way to see him. Sorry, I'm doing some stuff. Texting and doing some stuff. Sorry, chat. Don't worry. There's more stuff for me to do later on. God damn, I. I <laughs> ah, Clive. Were you able to locate your quarry? We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. And Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. Very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah, but that reminds me. After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Do you recall our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation? Yes. About how she somehow woke the power within him. Precisely that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought. But one which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. Yeah. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you describe Torgal as having used. What are you suggesting? That Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. He's between Sid. That in addition to Lady Jill, mm -hmm. he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, yep. and even the late Sid. Yep. In short, the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor, have been diverse and plenty. And that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. One can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. He has seemed more fierce of late. And if I'm not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. We are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh, he's more than an ally. He's a friend. Nah. That's, yeah, because I'm like, I look at Torgo, he's like, yeah, he's not using ice abilities, he's using lightning and other abilities and stuff. Slightly increase Torgo's attack points. Yeah, oh, wow. That's pretty good. Oh my gosh, there's so much side quests. We're almost done. Look at Torgo being happy, man. Wake up, doggo. Sorry for the wait. But hopefully, you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about our sword then. I did better than that. I... a whetstone. Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. on the grinding wheel <laughs> one hit and all done eh might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels <laughs> good luck on the battlefield your second opponent would be your last no matter how good you were True. even so is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge i think so yeah with this whetstone and the right kind of steel i could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me but there'd be no replacing this little rock once i worn it down to a sliver I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. 
Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield properly, and that would see him through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. Nah. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the curse breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. And I'll still be here when you're long gone. <laughs> hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one. August 2. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. Right. I will. Nice. Okay, we're slowly being done with all the... I'm pretty sure there's still more for uh, this guy, for sure. Ooh, Excalibur. Ooh. Pretty sure I have it, right? Let me check. Let me check. Yeah, I do have it. Nice. No scratches, right? And Ooh, it looks pretty oh it looks dope. Oh, the sword looks nice. It's like Sambrex, uh Sambrex uh holy plate. Pretty cool. I, I, I like it. It's a lot better, it's more stronger too. Alright. Keep on keeping on. Alright there, Sid. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. the stuff and plenty of it too enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while you're a gent Sid let nothing say otherwise right then let's get this contraption up and running The chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. <laughs> Says the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a the favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why do you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your Oh, potions. nice. Reckon I could work some magic on that. Oh, that's nice. What kind of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Well, 
It can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit? Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. What do you reckon? It certainly feels more... Of flexible. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. No, no. Thank you. For supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. Man, I'm like, <sighs> okay, nice. Oh, they agree. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. All right, you know what? This is a good place for us to stop. I feel like during the side quest, it has just made me kind of like find bluster stuff. So, uh, we'll stop here. Here, I think this is a good place for us to end on. So I'm just gonna save here. There's a lot of interesting side quests too though, I'm not gonna lie. It was nice. Very neat. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this. I'm gonna call it here. So anyway, that's gonna be it for stream. And recording. So anyway, see you guys next time.